welcome to another Preacher's Gun Sets video. Today we'll be talking about the Taurus. This is everything we'll be covering, so stick around if you have any questions. Starting with the first one, number one, the cost. The Taurus costs 800 points. Its attachments are a sight for 75 and a laser for 100. This is the most expensive pistol in the game so far, with good reason. Number two, grip. The Taurus has a pistol type grip. Because of this, you can use your offhand to stabilize the gun and move it wherever you want without impacting your aim. Number 3. Ammo Count and Reload Time The Taurus has 6 shots per magazine and 18 extra shots. This gives you a total of 24 bullets. This is the smallest magazine out of all other pistols, but it's plenty enough to wipe a whole squad. The reload time of the Taurus is 0.55 seconds. This is 0.05 seconds slower than the Jesper. Number 4. Fire Rate The Taurus has the slowest fire rate compared with the other pistols with 4.5 rounds per second. While you can fire the Taurus as fast, it makes it nearly impossible to control. I find the gun the most reliable when you take some time between your shots. Number 5. Recoil Because the Taurus is nearly unusable at its fastest fire rate, I'm going to use variable fire rates instead. If you wait for your aim to be stabilized between shots, the recoil is hardly necessary to take into consideration, especially if you kill someone with your first shot. I personally would recommend this way of using the Taurus because you can reliably one hand the gun as well. However, no one will purely hit headshots, so if your enemy is close and in your face, and you don't have time to think, you may want to fire fast, pull your hand down, and hope your shots hit your mark. If you're enjoying the series, I'd ask if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My current goal is to make it to a thousand subscribers, and everyone's help will be definitely appreciated. In close quarters combat, the Taurus does 30 damage to the limb, 35 damage to the chest, and 100 damage to the head. While shooting through a wall, it does 23 damage to a limb, 27 damage to the chest, and 75 damage to the head. While firing the gun at longer ranges, you will see at most 4 points of damage drop. This is probably because your rifle size round is fired by your trusty western whistler, which for all its grandeur is still pistol. Range aside, nothing beats the feeling you get from headshots with this gun. It's, it's, it's just... Mwah. Number 7. Range. Because the Taurus is a one-shot headshot at close range, it's recommended to use it when you see the whites of your enemy's eyes. It's also noteworthy that the more I used the Taurus, the better I got at aiming for heads. After only playing with the Taurus for a couple of sessions, I saw a significant increase in my ability to hit headshots. Overall, I would definitely give that revolver a spin. While it's a higher skill level gun, the functionality of it is undeniable. The 800 cost is a great price for the gun. One thing I found myself doing when I buy a Taurus is buying 3 to 4 gadgets as well. Because of its reliability when one handing the gun, you're virtually buying another inventory slot with those 800 points, which is your extra hand. While you have to treat the Taurus like a shotgun, I have found it an absolute joy to use. So if you're looking for a fun time, grab your chaps, get that hat and go knock some heads. Thanks for watching. Go check out my other gun stat videos. Take care. I die. Okay. Sorry, that was a really good call for my teammate. Totally know what direction we're coming through. Hey, I've got generator room. Come here. Come here. That is two headshots. Nice. Oh. Oh. Whose smoke is that? Oh no! This one's one shot. He's planting. Oh, I killed someone. Attention, delivering care package. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it actually worked!